products and then there are really fun products in virtual reality one of those fun products i visited the offices of vervana rhymes with nirvana yes these are guys that are fans actually that's the name of the company came from nirvana uh, and it's a virtual reality headset called totem uh, they're located right downtown montreal so this montreal startup is aiming to be the next big thing when it comes to virtual reality i uh, visited with uh, ceo bertrand Neveu and the rest of the gang over there have a look here at Vervana, their Montreal offices, Montreal startup. We're going to do something cool here. I'm actually going to do this interview while I have a goggle on my head. This is Totem, their virtual reality headset. Bertrand, uh, thanks for having us here. I'm going to put this on. And why don't you tell me, what am I looking at here? So this is... Uh... Whoa, whoa, <laughs> boy, hold on a second. Yeah, where am I? This is a new planet. <laughs> so this is a futuristic place in a game called Techno Lust. I'll yeah. give you the, the controller here. Yeah. So there you, you can go. move around, and Whoa. so you have to find clues and progress in the game. And if for anyone at home now who's watching this, as I move my head, tilt my head up, down, this thing is totally tracking me. How do you do that? How is this possible? So we're using uh, cell phone technology, meaning uh, we're using uh, HD screens and uh, accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer, so we can track uh, your rotations. Yeah. And one of our big advantages also is that we have onboard cameras, so we can track your lateral movement with the cameras too. <laughs> oh man, okay, Bertrand, listen, virtual reality, I'm sorry, I don't, yeah, even, know what, I don't even know where you are. I'm here, so hopefully I'm, here. I'm looking at you. Um, virtual reality, Facebook has bought Oculus, you know, Sony has virtual reality, Samsung wants to do about virtual reality. You know, why are you so passionate about VR? Because I'm a hardcore gamer at heart, and uh, that was a passion of mine. So this all the the, the project started with with that. So um, there's other players, but we bring a, a lot of different things. Uh, if you wear glasses, you can do your own focus. Um, we have onboard cameras. So let's say you want to look at me right now, you can yeah. pu push a button and see me. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we have our door acceleration, so we do a lot of innovation that you don't have to be a big company to do. Okay, awesome, Bertrand. Thanks so much. Uh, and uh, listen, let's take uh, some more looks at this and maybe some other stuff other than the video games we can do. Sure. Okay, awesome. So, so there, there you have it. I was in another world. That's Does it why feel I, weird? I, it, like I mean, on your head? You're somewhere else. You're moving. When you and move, it moves. So it's when really I move, you awesome. Move. And they like can that. program anything in Well, there. that's the interesting thing. So later on in the show, we're going to look at uh, Totem again, but not for video games, for other purposes, education, medical purposes. You could do a virtual reality surgery wow. with it or architecture. So pretty neat technology, and it's not just about video games. And I have to say, I watched a documentary once about how this is helping soldiers who are coming back from Afghanistan and Iraq sort of deal with PTSD yeah. and all of that. Uh, a lot, the, of, lot yeah. of uses for virtual reality, not right. just video games. Yeah. Not very, very just video games. Thank you so much, uh, Elias Mack.